Peter, how deflating is a early goal like that one, a fluke goal from the other end of the ice? The guys were in a position to get over that hump and, and to get it done, and obviously that's pretty hard to take. And, you know, you hopefully say, okay, he's played pretty well and played pretty hard in back-to-back -back games, and, you know, we're in a situation, let's just battle back through. And then that next goal, again, was, was uh, a little bewildering because both goals, I think, were, you know, bad goals, one from the goal line, one from from their blue line. So, you know, you, you don't try to understand it totally. I think he rebounded right back and played decently after that, but uh, I, I don't really know how to explain it. On that last, on the longer one, how much has to go wrong for that to happen? For the first one? Yeah. Uh, maybe he's not set. Maybe he doesn't see it and thinks it's being dumped in along the wall, which is usually the case. And, you know, the puck kind of went high and knuckled and dropped down, so... You know, but that's you can't, you can't give yourself excuses. You got to say that's his job, and he's got to have that. And I wish he, I'm sure he wish he have it back, and usually he does. So, you know, you just gotta you gotta roll with that and move on. After getting the first goal, the challenge for the team is to get the second one. Yep. To build on momentum. Yep. yep. You know, we we wanted to come out again. I thought we did. We wanted to get that first goal. Kess got a goal. He hasn't scored in five on five in a while. And uh, got that goal, got us going. Uh, they're they're not a type of team that's going to go wide open, and you know they're here rested, waiting. So we knew that it wasn't going to be a wide open situation, and and uh, you know we thought that we would get some chances in the power play, especially. You know that's some an area where you know it could help us get over that hump and get that next goal. That next goal was huge. But even when they. You know, when they scored, even when they scored their second one, we had some great chances to tie it back up again. You know, we've got to find ways to get things done, find ways to keep that one nothing, and find ways not to let the second goal happen and tie those things back up. We've got to be more resilient. And, you know, it's just like these situations where we're, we're finding ways not to win. We've got to find ways to win now. How hard is it going to be tomorrow and the next day to bring this team back? It's never easy. There's no... Perfect answer for that. Uh, you know, it's it's one of those areas where we do this, and we understand that you're going to go through these things, and you've got to prop them back up. You've got to be resilient, and you've got to be mentally tough, and you deal with these negative things like uh, having those couple funky goals go in, and you've got to move on the next day. It's got to be a whole new day because you can't put your best foot forward if you're pouting or feeling sorry for yourself or making excuses, you've got to just got to go back to work. You just want to limit Joffrey's minutes in the first game back for the There's no way to prepare for a game in practice. So, you know, he, he would be definitely uh, falling off in the third if he was playing 18, 19 minutes. So usually we try to keep those minutes under control. In the third period, if he was going well, we would probably prop him back up. And a couple times in the second, I think I moved him up higher in different lines to try to get his some offense out of him especially. But, uh, you know, he's, he was fine in his first game. You, you're not going to play him too much too soon. I think even when Leo played a lot earlier on, you saw it affecting him a little bit. It's very, very hard for players coming off injuries and being out for a while to play a full 18, 19 minutes or even 16 minutes. You know, that's, there's no way to replicate that in practice.